Hey, while you have that off, let me try moving those weights around some more. Now, no monkey business this time, Calavera! that our transportation wasn't ostentatious enough. Get in! Or are you afraid of heights? like some sort of warning sign. They'll tear you apart, bone by bone, and build with you a human throne. Their buck tooth king will sit upon what once was you, but now is gone. This key unlocks the gates of hell. Steady traveler, use it well. Pass up an old creepy key. There's a big old padlock on this outer gate. you doing? Hey, don't sneak up on me like that. Don't you know what's on the other side of that gate? Yeah, the way out of the forest. Demon beavers, Manny. They'll make you into a dam. Relax, Geppetto. I'm not made of wood. But Manny, they don't use wood.
I like to save bones for special occasions. Is to open it. Manny, I don't know if I like driving over people. They can't feel it, they're dead. What dead? I wouldn't want to drive over you. That's because you and I, Gladys, are friends. Aw, oh, Manny. Get the whole town's asleep. But I want a drag race. When they get a load of my car, we're gonna be the talk of the town. Pit. You're right. We're gonna have to find a good place to hide that road show. Speaking of hiding, I wonder if Mitch is here already. I'm gonna go see what I can stir up. Not a bad piece of real estate, actually. It's got potential. <laughs> your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, hell, looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Well, actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing, or turbos? 
there was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola. Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks gonna stay in Rubicava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Well, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Well, uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn. By the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. This guy looks familiar. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? Didn't you used to be taller? What are you doing here? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she too was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so? I came here to wait for her. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny, if she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. You must love her very much also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. So, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you get me a job here? Have any skills? Sales? Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? Well, I'd better go see how my other clients are doing. If you say so, Manny. <laughs> 